Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video and I know that you guys are going to be too because it has been highly requested this month. So you guys saw my January stickers that I made for my monthly spread in my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, and you guys want to know how to make your own. So I've done a couple videos like this before. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I'm making February's. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process. This video is probably going to be super long. So if that's not your cup of tea, then sorry, but I'm going to have to <laughs> tell you to move to the next video because this video is probably going to be really long. I'm going to try to go super duper into detail about everything that I do, um, like showing you every single step, telling you any tips and tricks that I know that have worked for me, what doesn't work for me, um, any problems I have. I do want to start off by saying this is for an Erin Condren 7x9 Life Planner. I'm going to give you guys all the sizes, like the dimensions that I'm going to use, and I will, I'll say them in the video and I'll also leave them in the description box, but keep in mind that's for a 7x9. So if you have the larger version or you have a different kind of planner that's not a life planner or it's a different size, these sticker sizes would not work for you, um, most likely at least. So, I want to throw that out there. I also, I'm using digital scrapbooking paper that I purchased from a store on Etsy. So I will leave her um, shop in the description box so you guys can check that out as well. I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to say. Um, just a couple of disclaimers for the video. Um, I feel like there's something else. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. I'm going to screen record on my computer showing you guys the Cricut. Oh, I remembered what the other one was. Um, my Cricut itself is great. I love the Cricut. It cuts really nicely. It's easy to use, very user friendly, but the design space um, stuff that we have to use, like the software that you have on your computer, has been acting insane for the past couple months. They've been doing all kinds of updates to it, I guess. Like almost every single time I log in, I have an update going on. I don't know if it's just mine that's messed up. I don't know if I need to just delete it and re-download everything. I don't know what's going on. But I tried to film this video Monday night to go up on Tuesday, and it would not. Like, my computer or my design space was going crazy. It didn't matter whether I was hooked to the internet or not. It didn't matter if I was online, offline, whatever. It was going insane. It was deleting stuff. It wasn't letting me have the options that I usually have. It was just being crazy. So... I stopped the video. Today I'm going to start fresh. I deleted everything that I did. We're starting with a blank canvas so I can walk you through every single step of the process that I take. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around or not flip you guys around. I'm going to go ahead and get to my computer and start screen recording. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Currently screen recording. As you can tell, you can see, you should be able to see my entire screen. Um, I've already opened up Cricut Design Space and I just selected to make a new blank canvas. So before I get started, I like to start with just titling my thing and saving my blank canvas. So what I'm going to do is go up here to save and I'm just going to call this one February Monthly Kit. Oh, kit. Just one. We're just making one. So I just like to do that so that way as I'm going through my process, I can just randomly click save. So that way if the design space crashes or internet goes down or whatever might happen, it will keep all of my work. Just like when you write a paper or something for school, that's just kind of how it works. So that is my first step always. The next thing that I have to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to insert a square. And this step is important to me. Um, if you're... It depends, I guess, on your preference. So for mine, I'm going to just pause for a second and get on my soapbox just for a minute. So my preference, I use a random sticker paper I found on Amazon. But just like with all sticker paper, you have the actual sticker paper part and then you have the backing to it. So if you just want to print your stickers, cut them and leave them all on that one 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, because usually sticker paper is just the standard size, like a sheet of computer paper um, or whatever. So if you don't mind leaving it that size, then you don't have to do this step. I like to have my stickers like cut out onto a sheet where it'll cut through not only the sticker paper, but it will also cut through the backing. So this is the step that I take to be able to do that. If you don't care if it all stays together on one thing, then you can skip this step. But You'll see kind of what I mean as we go through the process. So I insert a shape. 
I come up here, I make sure that it's on print because obviously all of our stickers need to be print stickers because we're going to print first and then we're going to cut. And then I come over here, I unlock my dimensions. The sizing for this really matters. Um, when you, if you're using Cricut Design Space, the largest that you can make something to cut is like 6.75. Um, so if you're, or for width, it's 6.75. I always do six and a half just because I feel like that's a good, well-rounded number. Um, but just keep that in mind when you're making something for yourself. The height can be up to like nine something. I can't remember what it is. Oh, nine and a quarter. So 9.25 is what your height can be. I like to split that in half because I make two separate sheets for mine. I could just do like the 9.25 or just do nine. Um, and I've tried that before. I feel like if you, when you buy sticker sheets, a lot of times from Planner, like Planner Kate or other stickers from Etsy, they come on longer sheets like this. I just like to cut mine in half because it makes two, I don't know, personal preference. It doesn't really matter. Just like I said, this can also, you could go up to seven and a, or 6.75. I think I might actually leave mine like that for now just so that you guys can see it a little better. Um, but, you know, personal preference. I'm going to go ahead and change my nine back down to four and a half just because that's half a nine and I'm going to make two sheets. So I do that. I lock my dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and make it white. It's going to make it hard for you guys to see since there's a white background behind it too. But you get all of that set. It has to be set to the size and the color you want before you do the next step. Well, not the next step, but one of the next steps. So the actual next step is just to duplicate it. I duplicate it so that I end up with five squares. Um, this just means that it's going to cut that same square out five times. That's what makes it cut through not only the sticker paper, but also the backing. That's how we get it to cut out just so that you have a sheet of sticker paper and not the whole eight and a half by 11 sheets still. Um, you might could do like three or four and it's still cut through. I haven't tested the theory. I just do five to be on the safe side because I don't want anything to mess up and have to cut again. Um, I don't want to waste sticker paper. So you do that, you grab all of them, you go up here to a line and you hit center just like what I just did. Then once you've got it all done like that, you just hit attach. So when you attach it, it still keeps all five individuals um, or individual squares, rectangles, whatever you want to call them, but they're now attached. So it's going to stay together when you move it. You won't have any issues cutting. It's going to cut all on top of each other. That's what makes it cut out five times in the same spot. So works great. Yada yada. Alright, so I always start with making one of those. I'm going to zoom us in just a little bit so that you can see just a little bit closer. And I'm actually just going to drag it over here to this side, just as a personal preference. Um, so yeah, this is where our canvas, our blank space starts. So this, we're going to drag all of our stickers onto this white square that we just made. So let's go ahead and get started. The first sticker that I always make is the header for the month. So the way I make that is I come over here, I insert another square, always make it a print image, of course, and then I go ahead and do my dimensions for it. Now for your header, the size of your header needs to be 6.438 in width. Um, and then it needs to be, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It needs to be 1.219 in height. So that will get you pretty perfectly close to being the exact dimensions of the seven and a half or seven by nine planar header strip things. So I do that. Then I just bring it over here. I drop it somewhere on my white canvas and then I'm going to pick out what um, pattern I want to fill this with. Obviously I don't want it to print gray. I want it to be something Valentine's y because it's February. That's what we do. So I quickly want to show you how to upload a pattern. Um, I always go through and upload all of my patterns first before I get started. So my patterns are all uploaded that I purchased from Etsy. When I first purchased it, this is what the file looks like. You download it um, and then it just comes up like this. So these are what I'm talking about down here that I will use for patterns. I have uploaded all of these except for this one that I brought over here. I just saved it to my desktop so that I could show you guys what my steps are. For whatever reason, Cricut Design Space will not accept the like you to upload this as is. You have to crop it down just a tiny bit. 
Um, I'm not sure if it really matters, like that it's being cropped. I think it just has to be edited. I don't really know, but I just do it because that's the only way it will work for me. So then you go over here and you hit upload pattern. I'm just gonna drag it over here. I've already named it to Valentine Light Pink Hearts. If you wanted to change the name, you could do that. You could add all this other recommended stuff, but I don't do all that because the chances of me going back and needing to use this one pattern again is very unlikely. And if I did, all I've got to do is just go look for it. So it went through. It's going to bring you back to this page. You just hit cancel and it will take you back to this. So what I'm going to do is select my square, or my rectangle that I'm going to change to my header. And I change it from being a color to a pattern. Now here's where... You can see that I inserted all of those patterns. Some of them are done twice because I did it the other day as well. So, you know, this is what it is. But this particular header, I want to be those hearts that we just did with. Now, as soon as you click on it, you can tell that it's just kind of wonky looking. So I always edit the pattern and then I change it to be a little bit more zoomed in so that the hearts look like that. And now they look beautiful. Love it. Okay. So now that we've completed that step, our next step is going to be to put the strip on top of this that's going to say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, all the days of the week, and then the last one will say notes. Um, so I'm going to go right back over here. I'm going to grab another square. This is not difficult. I'm going to change it to be a print, and then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to change out my dimensions. We're going to use the same exact width that we used um, for our other header just because it's going to be right on top of that but then our thickness is only going to be a quarter of an inch because we don't need that much space anymore so then i just try to bring it over here i get it lined up and i'm going to grab both of them i just hold the shift key and click on both and then i'm going to align them horizontally so that i know that they are perfectly lined up now when you have both of them in your grasp your you want to look right here and make sure that you still have 6.438, which we do. And over here on the side, it should be 6.219, which we don't have. It's a little too wide. So I'm going to roll it up just a little bit. We do have it now, but it needs to... Oh, whoa, it does not need to go down that far. Oh, wow, we're not going to get it perfectly. Let's... um, We'll just leave it like this. That'll be okay. It'll be a little bit wide because as you can tell when they're together, it's coming out to 1.222. And I could sit here and play around with it and try to like just barely move it up and down to where I'll get it perfectly on 1.219. I'm not that worried if I have that little teeny tiny bit of overhang. It's not that big of a deal to me. So you know what? We're just going to leave it. Not a big deal. All right. So then our next step is to figure out what color we want to do this. I always do it in a solid color. You don't have to, I guess. You know, it's all your personal preference. I just like the way a solid color looks and then my words on top of it, I always do in white no matter what I'm doing. So that's going to be my next step is to figure out what color I want that to be. Now, this also is kind of where I have looked at other colors in these patterns. I'm going to bring this back up. So you see we have a lot of that light pink. We have a lot of hot pink. And then we also have some purples. So we have this lighter purple as well as a darker purple here. I don't care for this darker purple color. I don't know if I'll even use that one. So I'm going to ignore it for now. I do, however, like this lighter color purple. And that's the color I think that I want for that strip. So what I'm going to be using, and I'm going to show you what the emblem looks like when you get it, is this color snapper 2 up here in the left-hand corner. That is, it will pin up here for me. Um, I don't know why it does. It just did. You can see that I've already toyed around with some colors when I did it on Monday, but this allows you to have a dropper where you can pick any color on your screen. So if I want that color and it will give you that like hex number or whatever, you can get it all these different ways for all these colors that I've used. This is every color I've used so far. Um, and it will always save this as your last color. And then when you click up here, you can see it. So that was the one we just did. You can see I did it the other day. And I can exit out of this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to open up my color, go down to advanced, and I'm going to get rid of everything but the number sign. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to look and see. So we know it's 7B7795. 
So I'm going to type in 7B7795, and boom. Whoa, I didn't mean to scroll down that far. I clicked on the little scrolly bar over there. Okay, now we can say we've got it. So now we have it. I like the way the purple looks. I think it looks super cute. I love it. All right, so what I'm going to do next is make the little thing that's going to say February up here. I just really like making that, so I speed through to get to that part. In order to do that, though, I'm going to be using Pixlr, which is a Photoshop editor thing. I don't really know what all you can do with it. I do know it makes scripts, though. That's the only thing I use with it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open up a new one. That is not what I meant to do. Where is the... This looks different than it usually does. Hmm. I don't want to use that one because that's where I made it the other day. I want you guys to be able to see me make it. This is very different. Something is not right there. I'm not even going to log in. We're just going to roll with it. Okay. I'm going to pick this one and then I'll just delete what I've done already and show you what it looks like. So when you first open it up, it's going to look like this. You just have a blank canvas. I'm going to come over here and add a text layer. I automatically do gen plans for everything. Um, I've showed you guys how to do this before, but gen plans, you can just add a local font and it will be there or whatever. So I always use gen plans. Why is it? There we go. And then you just come over here, you type in whatever it is that you're trying to make for your script sticker. For us, it's February. And I'm going to change the color to be that same purple color. So 7B7795. I really like that light purple. I think it's super duper cute. Then I come over here and I'm going to add an outline. I always want my outline to be white. Again, personal preference, I guess. You don't have to have it like that. Um, this is definitely different. What is going on? Why does it look like this? I'm very confused because it did not look like this the other day. I haven't seen it look like this. I mean, I guess they just updated it, which happens, but um, I'm trying to see what all the other options are really quick since they decided to update it on me. All right, whatever. So you add an outline. It's going to give you like this. It was a little simpler to do before they decided to change everything. Um, it used to give you the option to like make it, the, make the outline thick enough to fill in all these little holes for you. But apparently that's not the thing anymore. Apparently we are going to do that. And that's going to be okay. Why is it not letting me move around? What is this? We don't need that. Okay. Move my box back up here to February. All right, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back to layer one. We are gonna change both of these colors down here to white, and then I'm gonna add a shape. So I'm gonna do a circle. It's gonna fill with white, and the reason, let's see, I'm actually gonna do a square for this one. So there now you can see that I can like cover that up if that makes sense. Um, sometimes it takes me a minute because there's like multiple little holes and there's no like one fix for it. Um, but it's worth it. It'll come out looking super duper cute or at least it usually does. Um, I don't know what's up with the new thing they've got going here, but either way, that is how we want that to come out to look and it looks great. You could fill in, like, between the R and the U, you have this big gap. You could fill that in. Same thing with R and Y. I'm not super worried about that. Um, I don't hate the way that looks like that. So we're just going to leave it at this. I'm going to go up here and hit File, Save. I'm going to title it as February. And then I'm going to hit Download. Now, I can go ahead and just, like, minimize that. I'm going to come back in here and hit Upload. Upload Image. I'm going to Browse, and I'm going to browse my Downloads. So we've got our February. You always want to save it as a complex image. Then you just hit continue. 
This one, you want to make sure it saves as a save as a print then cut image. So you want to make sure this first one is chosen and not this one. If you click the save as a cut image, it's going to come out looking like it does in that picture and we don't want that. It won't have that same color because it won't be printing. So now that we've got that, we're going to add it over here. And I usually leave it about the size that it comes in at. Um, and I just kind of eyeball where I think it looks good at. I think it looks good there. I feel like I spelled February wrong. I'm checking. I didn't. I don't know why I always think that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to move all of this off of that white canvas just so that I can flatten everything together. So the way you're going to do that, I'm going to make sure that this heart thing is sent to the back and I want my February. It's at the front already. I'm going to send this to the front and then I'm going to send the February in front of that. It just reorganizes everything over here. Then I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to flatten and we're going to hope it works. And it did. Perfect. So now this is actually going to print as one sticker. It's not going to be all those separate pieces like what we were just doing. It's going to print as one individual sticker. So I'm going to move it back. You know what? I'm going to move it back up here, I guess. We'll have to move it down in a minute when we add our Sunday, Monday, you know, days of the week thing. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and add in doo -doo -doo, our next header. And so I'm going to go through this one a little bit quicker just because, what am I doing? Um, I showed you guys how to do this already. So I'm going to do my same dimensions. 1.219. So I'm going to do that. And then I want it to be a pattern. And it's going to be those arms. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller because now that's a little too big. I don't know why. Why am I singing? What the heck? You know what? We're going to make this a little bit easier. We're going to come back over here. I'm going to unflatten. And then I'm going to grab these two little guys, copy and paste them. And boom shakalaka. We've got it ready to roll. Then we're going to flatten it again. All right. So now those are back together. And now we have this, and I don't have to worry about sizing everything again. All right, so for this one, I'm not going to put any, like, words or anything. It's not going to say February because this is going to be, you know, all in the same spread. So the only thing that our headers are missing now is the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, all those things. I'm going to zoom us in just a little bit more because this part gets a little complicated for me, and I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. I just can't figure out how. But I'm going to go ahead and just drag this back off of our white background up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another square. I know we just are all about the squares. And I'm going to change it to be like a light gray color just so it's easy to see. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change it to be 0 0.25 in height because I want it to be the same height as our purple strip. And then I'm going to change it to be or, well, I'm going to get my calculator out, and I'm going to do it on the screen just so you guys can see what I do. I'm going to take the whole length of our header, which is 6.438, and then I'm going to divide that into four because we're going to have four, like, words. We're going to have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or we're going to have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then notes. So, as you can see, that's 1.6095. We're going to call it 1.61. It's not going to make that big of a difference. So I'm going to come up here and change the width to 1.61. I'm going to lock it, and then I'm going to duplicate it so that I have four of them. So now that I've gotten that done, I'm going to line them up right underneath our purple strippy thing. Okay, I'm going to grab all of them and I'm going to center. Oh, good job, Michaela. Good job. Good job. Okay, we're going to grab all of them and we're going to center it vertically. That will make sure they're all in a straight line. Um, and then I can see that I have a teeny tiny little white space in between all of them. So I'm going to try to get rid of that. Perfect. Now, that's good, good enough. You can tell that it's 6.402, so it's not quite to the right length. Um, and I don't know if changing it up here 
would help. Okay, cool, it does. Awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up with that purple strip just so it sits like this. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a text. I always, like I said, I do gym plans. I already have it downloaded because I use it regularly. Um, come on. There we go. Gym plans. And our first one is going to be Sunday. Now, I always make these white just because I just like personal preference. I like the way that looks. Um, and let's see, we're going to need to make it a little bit smaller so that it will all fit. I might get a little bit bigger now. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it and the gray bar behind it. And I'm going to hit center so that it will center Sunday in that gray bar. So as you can tell, I'm just going to walk down the line and do that. So our next one, I'm going to grab Sunday and just make a copy of it. And then I'm going to change it to be Monday. No, um, I'm going to do the same thing and center it. I'm going to paste another Sunday, and we're going to change this one to be Tuesday. Again, it changed it to black. I don't know why. And then we're going to grab it. Oh goodness, we're going to grab it and the thing behind it, and we're going to center. And then the last one is going to be Wednesday. 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 It's one of those you have to sound out. All right. And then we're going to center that. Oh, why? Why Wednesday? Why you got to be like that? Why you got to be like that Wednesday? You got to have it moved all the way on, I guess. Now we can center it and it won't move. Okay, cool. So now I have those perfectly centered to where they will be on top of where they need to be, if that makes sense. So like the Sundays will line up with the Sunday call, you know, the whole nine yards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of my words and I'm going to flatten them and I'm going to just drag them up here for a second and then I'm going to grab my gray bar thing. I'm going to get it out of the way because I want to keep it so that I can use it for my next one. And then I'm going to put that down there. All right. And... Just make sure that it's all centered, like where it should be. I think it's horizontally this time. Yes, cool. So now the Sunday through Wednesday is centered right where it should be. That is completely done now. So what we can do now is grab them. It's not going to let me do it like that. I'm going to unflatten these. We're not going to move them. I'm going to grab all of them. I'm actually, I'm going to grab the big thing first, and then I'm going to go through and grab all of my words. Why is it not letting me do that? There we go. We have to grab the words first. This is what I mean by it changed. This is where we had an issue the other night. So I don't know what happened with Design Space, but it is being so finicky at this point. It used to let me flatten with no issue. And now every time it wants to do this, even when I send this thing to the back, which is already sent to the back, and then if I bring these things to the front, which is where they should be, in this order at least, they're already at the front. It won't let me grab everything and then flatten it and it leave them where they're supposed to be. I have absolutely no living idea why it wants to be that difficult. But that's going to be an issue. So the other night, it finally let me do it after doing the exact same thing for about 50 times, which I don't have time to do today. Um, so what I'm going to do is unflatten this. I'm not going to worry too much about getting this flat with everything. It would be nice if it would. You know, it would be cool. I would like it. I'm going to try to grab everything this way and flatten and see, now it got rid of everything. So I don't know what the deal is. It's it just it's crazy. It's just having a moment. I don't know. But I really especially need these to flatten with that. Why? What is happening now? It's not going to work at all, is it? I'm going to move this like off of there because we don't. I'm not super worried about getting that right.
All right, I'm gonna flatten them onto that. No, I'm not apparently. What in the world? Why? 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 Why is this happening? And it doesn't matter what order you grab it in, like it just randomly will work, randomly won't. So now that worked, our um, purple strip has the words hooked to it. So now I'm gonna grab this thing. I'm gonna make sure that it's, yep, it's sent to the back. This should be in the front and it is. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna grab my purple strip, I'm gonna hit flatten and see it worked. But now if I wanted to add this thing on, for whatever reason, it won't let me add this and the words, I guess is what I'm getting at. If I hit flatten, it makes it disappear. I cannot for the life of me figure out why. So if you guys know why it does that, even when everything is arranged, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Everything is arranged just how it should be. Um, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I don't know what to do. It just keeps getting rid of it. No matter how many times I try, I cannot get it to flatten with the February on there. I don't know if it's because it's an outside image or what, but you know what? It's, it's okay. We'll just print this as a separate sticker. It'll print as a script just like that, and I can stick it on top of there. I don't have time to deal with it, so, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna move on. All right, so I'm gonna send my white thing back to the very back, and then I'm just gonna put this up here because we are now done with that header. That header is completely finished and ready to roll. Um, excuse me, why didn't you come together? Because I didn't flatten you, that's why, I forgot. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is zoom back in, and then I'm going to, oh, that's not lined up. Whoa, backspace, there we go, okay. I'm gonna line this up just like I did last time. I'm gonna move February like up there somewhere. Okay, and then we're gonna add text again. So still gen plans, this time we are on what? Thursday. All right, and we're gonna make it white, and then we're gonna size it way down, but not that far down. You know what I need to do? This is really gonna suck, but I need to make it the same size as this. And the only way to do that would be to unflatten, unflatten this, and then copy and paste one of these, and drag it down there. Okay, now I wonder if it will easily let me put all this back together. Nope, of course it wouldn't. Why would it? Why would it be that easy? Wow. I'm really going through it right now with this stupid thing. Ah! What the actual heck is happening? I don't ever struggle this much. I um I told Jeremiah the other day though I literally am gonna buy a cricket or a silhouette. I'm done with cricket because we've had this issue for so long now, and it wasn't an issue forever. Like it would be one thing if I was new to the game and I just had absolutely no clue what I'm doing, which is you know still could be the case. But for it to be this difficult, I'm like, come on now. It shouldn't be this hard. It should not be this hard to figure out. So I'm going to sell my. Cricut and get a silhouette. We're just going to move on over to that one because I also was thinking, you know, if I do end up wanting to get, um, come on, man, come on, what the heck? If I do ever want to get a, um, like start an Etsy business, it's not going to work. I don't, I like told myself in my head, that's not going to work because why would it? That's too easy for it to just work. <sighs> okay, let's try it again. Um, if I ever did want to start an Etsy business, I feel like it would be easier to do so. I feel like it would be easier to do so if I had a silhouette because I wouldn't have this issue right here. Like if I was doing this as a business, I wouldn't have the time to spend on this right now. Luckily, I just happened to have some time today, so here we are, struggling, struggling. I don't, I, I don't even know what else to try. <laughs> I have no clue what else to try. I'm almost to the point where I'm like, I don't need February stickers this bad. 
because I still have to make my budget kit. I still have to make, there we go. Wow, that was so difficult, wasn't it, Cricut? It took you forever to do that. Okay, come on. Grab that, flatten it. Cool. All right. Ugh, Lord of mercy on my soul. I'm gonna like be done with Cricut. I can't wait anymore. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're on Thursday now. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make all my, okay, why won't you let me change the color of this? I'm gonna change all of my days of the week to what they're supposed to be. Center, cool beans. Okay. Thursday, Friday. Not today. Hopefully this one will let us work a little bit easier with it in a minute. Okay. Come on. Oh, shoot, darn far. Okay. Why is it moving that? I'm not even, do you see where I clicked and it picked that up? I clicked down here and it picked that up. I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm so over this, guys. I hate to talk bad about Cricut because, you know, it. I mean, it's worked for forever. I've had mine for a couple of years at this point. And I've never had the kind of issues that I have with it right now, ever. Like, this has never been an issue. And now, since all these updates, just within the last couple months, it's like going crazy all the time. And I can't deal with it. So, that's the facts. Okay. So, just like I did with the other one, I'm going to move it up there. I can just get rid of these now. I don't need them. Okay, I'm going to move it down some and just center, what the heck, it's because these are not flattened, there we go, now I should be able to center horizontally, perfect, okay, it's probably going to make me unflatten those in just a second. To be able to um, do this, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna grab this, that, and that. And it worked first try. It worked first try. That right there proves that it can happen. It can be done. It just won't do it. All right, so we've got that done. Remember, this will go up here. Well, you couldn't see it, but it will go up in this space over here whenever we print it. So now our headers are done. That is ready. The next step that I always make after that is the washies. So I just really like to make the washies. They're super, super simple to make. All you have to do is insert a square. Again, you change it to a print image every time. The size that I do my washies for, I keep that same 6.438 from my header. Um, and then I make mine 0 0.25. So it's the same exact thing as those little purple strips. Um, it just, that just seems to work the best for me. So I'm not going to change that. All right. So what I'm going to do is have that. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to change it to a pattern because I'm going to fill it with something. And then I just have to look through and figure out what that something might be. <laughs> what am I going to fill it with? Let's try... Let's see what this one looks like. I'm not sure what that is actually, um, but I can tell you that's not right. This was the second issue that we had the other day was that it wasn't like you can see through it still. It's not actually filling it with anything. It's like being ridiculous and I don't recommend it. <laughs> I hate to be like that. I really do. I do not like to talk crap about businesses. But this whole Cricut thing, like, come on now. I can't imagine somebody who does, like, making stickers for a living with a Cricut, like, what they would be going through if they were going through this right now. Because it's so hard to just get to be able to do anything. I'm going to try a different one because I just have a feeling that none of these are going to work. 
I don't understand why that one won't work, but that one will. They're the exact same thing. Whatever. We'll take it. All right. So did that. Oh, that's the arrows. I don't know if I really like that one. Ooh, actually, I do. That's pretty. And that'll match perfectly with that color. Cool, cool. Okay. I like it. It worked. All right. So I always make two of them. So I just hit um, like copy and paste on my keyboard to make two. I always like to make a couple of like a different color as well. So I'm going to make another one. I'm going to copy and paste another one. And then this one, we're going to actually change the pattern for if it will let us, of course. So I'm going to change. Let's try. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm not quite sure what that one is. Oh, it says love. That's cute. It needs to be a little bit smaller, though, I feel like. Let's see what that looks like. I like that. Okay. So we'll do that one. And I'm thinking, should I make, like, maybe one more? Just for fun. Let's do it. I'm going to move the February off because it's probably not going to fit here in a minute once I make another one. So if we can get another one to feel like the pattern how it's supposed to, then we'll make another one. If not, then we already have enough made anyways. Let's see what this one looks like. I like it. That's super cute too. Okay. Okay, dokay. So now you can tell that that whole white background is full. Like we can't fit any more stickers on there. So what I do next is I grab everything and it's super easy to do this step because they're all the same width. So I'm going to center them, not vertically, wrap them vertically. <laughs> Come on. We're going to center them horizontally just so it all lines up nicely. You don't have to do that step, just a preference of mine. Then we're going to attach them. So that way they also cut out as an individual sticker, but they kind of stay as a group. Then I'm going to grab the white background. I'm going to center those in the white background. And then, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? It's not going to let me. It's going to say detach. This was problem number three that Cricut is having right now. Whenever you attach something, I can't grab this and then attach it. Even though it's not currently attached to the white background, I can't grab both because it only gives me the option to detach and not attach. That's problem number three. So what we have to do at this point is unattach all of those white pieces. They'll still stay in that same spot. And then we're going to grab all of them. I don't know why it's making me scroll down every time. So we literally have everything right now. I could have just done this. We have everything except for that February sticker, and we're going to attach all of it. So now all of this moves as one cohesive piece, and that's how it's going to print, and that's how it's going to cut. I'm going to just move it up here to the corner. Then I'm going to come down here, and we're going to start on the second one. So at this point, I have finished my header and my washi, and that's it. <laughs> That doesn't sound like a lot considering how long we've probably been on here at this point. But like I said, I'm trying to be detailed and you guys are obviously seeing the struggles that we're having. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to make more of those white boxes just like we did last time. There'll be a print image. They will be white. Six and a half by four and a half. And then... I'm going to make it to where we have five of those. Remove February out of the way. We're going to grab them, center them. For now, I'm going to attach them just so they stay. Come on. Just so they stay together, and then we'll just have to detach them in a minute once we get ready to roll on. Um, all right, so now that we've got that done, we know that our February sticker is going to have to go on here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this white thing to the back because we want to put stuff on it. So that will have to print onto there. 
Then we also still need our appointment labels. I make half boxes and we need our scripts. So we have a few more things left. I also think I'm gonna make some boxes this time to cover up the days that are on the spread but aren't in the month. So for example, January 31st is on a Sunday. So it shows up on the February spread, but obviously I'm not gonna be using it because I'll, that'll be on the January spread. So I think I'm gonna make some boxes and some strips to cover those up. So we'll see if we can fit those on here. If we can, then that's what we'll do. But if not, you know, not a big deal. We'll do something else. So, or we just won't worry about those if that doesn't work. But the biggest thing that I wanna show you guys is how I make my appointment labels, half boxes, and scripts. So we are gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with trying to make this Valentine's Day sticker. So I'm gonna to go to upload, upload an image. I'm gonna save it as complex. I'm just gonna leave it like that, I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna insert. So as you can tell, it inserted with no background. Wow, that's humongous. Let's dial it down some, dude. Um, so it's saved with no background behind it. So we need to put something behind it to make it to where I can use that for, as a sticker. So what I'm going to do is put a square in. We're going to make it a print. I'm going to make it white. And then I'm going to put it as, let's see, we're going to do one and a half for our width. And then I'm going to do like maybe 0 0.75. That's what I do like my half boxes as. So let's try that. And then we will do the same thing for this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let me go a little bit smaller. It's gonna have to be way smaller than that. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on now. I'm gonna center it in that, and then I'm gonna flatten. And it did not do that correctly. Why is it, why, why does it look like that over there? There we go. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I've never tried to do one like this before, so I don't know what the dealio might be, but I don't know. I don't know how I can get that to print like that. I just thought it would be cute to have an actual like little Valentine's Day sticker. I could just let it print and cut like, mm, that wouldn't work either. I'm trying to think how else I could do this because it's not gonna let me flatten it, I don't think. Oh, it did, oh cool, wow. Cricut must have just been having another moment. All right, so now we get our Valentine's Day sticker done. That's what I had that over there for. Um, so that was fun. I'm going to drag that back into that file just to get, oh, just kidding. Nope, 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 just stop it. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so now I'm going to do my appointment labels next. So the appointment labels, I, this is like my least favorite thing to make just because it takes so much time. But I always start with a square. I start everything with a square if you can't tell. I don't know why I did that because it's going to be a print image and it's not actually going to be white. Um, don't know what I was thinking there. But anyway, so I'm going to size this one down. We're going to do one and a half for our width. And then I do 0 0.375 for the width. I mean for the height. So that it comes out like this. So that's what we've got. That'll be the base of our appointment label. Like the, you know, the bottom part. And then what we're going to do from this is copy and paste and I'm gonna make a shorter version of the same um no thank you 375.25 mm, let's do point four that'll work all right so what I do is I'm gonna change this color to be like we could do this purple, it doesn't matter. I'll do a bunch of different colors so you kind of get to see what they would all look like. I get it lined up nice and perfectly, and then I think it's horizontally. Why do I always think it's horizontally and it's never horizontally? I truly don't understand the deal. Come on, here we go again. Okay, why don't we all just disappear? 
Okay, then we're going to do vertically. We make sure that it's still one and a half in length. So all that looks nice. I'm going to change this color. Always what I do is I pick the same color and then I come down here to advance and I'll move it a little lighter so it gets closer to like the white and then I look. So now it's like a lighter color contrasted with a darker color. Um, I actually did that backwards. So usually what I would do is I would put that there and then on this side is where I would make it lighter so that it comes out like that. So that is kind of how I make my appointment labels. That way I have a little space to write the time and then I have the space to write, you know, whatever else. So that is what I do for those. I'm going to grab both of them, duplicate them. I don't know where the other little square went, but hopefully he'll show up eventually. And then I'm going to flatten that one so that it prints not like that. I don't, I, this is what I don't understand. Why are you being so difficult? I do not understand. Okay, send that to the back. Send that to the front. And then grab both and flatten. Wow. Okay. I just don't have words for this right now. Okay, on to the next one. All right, so I keep the same thing going for the next color. I make all of my colors and then I'll make like, um, I'll go through and just make some, like I'll make, I'll duplicate them so that I'll have multiple of each color. I don't know why I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. All right, so for this color, I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to drop I think we'll get this like darker pink color right here first. So I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to scroll back down. I'm going to grab my darkest color and I'm going to change out that to be F1B8BE. So F, oops, F1B8BE. Perfect. Okay. And then I'll come over here. I'll change it to that. And then again, I will move it lighter so that it comes out like this. That looks so cute. I like those colors together. All right. And then I will flatten that one and drag her up here. All right. And then I think I'm going to make one more color. So for this one, I'm going to grab this more like hot pink color because I like that one too. That one is F07B90. So we're gonna change it to F07B90. Perfect. And make it lighter. And we're gonna flatten it. Oh wow, of course. Come on. If you can't tell, we really struggle here with this. I wish it wasn't as bad as it is. I really do. I liked the Cricut while it worked. I just, I, I can't deal with this constantly. Like, I need a break from Cricut by the time I finish. And I just don't want to feel like that. I should be able to have fun doing what I like to do, which is making these stickers. And I can't because, you know, it gets harder every time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I grabbed all three of these. I'm going to duplicate so that I get three more and then I just kind of put them underneath like this. I'm going to duplicate it again so I get three more and maybe one more time. I probably won't have that many appointments, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to move these over because they look like they didn't, they didn't line those up right. They're still not really lined up right. Whatever. Okay, it doesn't really matter. That's just my personal like OCDness. All right, so now we have our appointment labels made. The next thing I'm gonna make is some half boxes. For those, I don't just do the solid colors. I like to change those so that they, I don't know why I'm moving that, um, so that they are like two layers. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm gonna insert yet again, another square, who's surprised. Um, this one is going to still be that one and a half 
for our width, but then our height on this one is going to be 0 0.75. So it's a little bit thicker than those. Um, and I'm just going to scroll down here and put it because I'm sure I'm going to have issues with it. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to first change it to be a pattern because I want to pick a pattern that will look cute with it. I'm going to try, what's one I haven't done yet? Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's the one that wouldn't work. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, that's those arrows. We can use that one. That would be fine. All right, so I do that, and then I duplicate it, and I make the one that's going to be on the inside slightly smaller, like maybe even a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to change it to be a color. So we're going to change it to be like this light purplish gray color. I'm going to make sure that it's at the front and that that thing is at the back. Then I'm going to grab both, center them, and that's kind of how I do a half boxes. The only thing I don't like about the way these turn out is how like the sizing all the way around. Like it doesn't because it's not a square, it doesn't come out exactly perfect all the way around, if that makes sense. Like there's more room on the left and right of the back than there is of the top and bottom. And I don't necessarily care for how that looks. The only way to fix that though, is to come over here and make it bigger. So we could do this and then recenter so that it comes out like that. And that looks a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab both of these and duplicate it. I only make like one of each pattern that I like when I do it like this. I don't know why I did it like that again. Since that one the wrong way. Okay. Then we're going to grab this one. I'm going to flatten it. And I'm just going to bring her up here and drop her out. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to pick a different pattern. So let's do a pink one. Let's see what, what does this hot pink one look like? It really doesn't look like much. It's just hot pink. Oh, it's because it says love. Let's see if we can pick a different hot pink one. Or let's try this one. I'm trying to find something that's going to have some color. That one will look okay. Oh yeah, that one looks fine. Now the inside of this one, we'll do that light pink color. And I'm going to duplicate with this one. We'll flatten it. And I'm just going to put it up there with the other one. All right. We might make like one more of these. I like making these ones just because they're cute. I just, I like to play with the patterns. That's mostly what I enjoy. So when I get to play around with those patterns and just see what looks good and what doesn't, I just like that. That's fun for me. Um, let's see, what is this one? Oh, you can't really see anything that says. Let's try this one then. Why? Mm, I don't know if I like that or not. I do. We'll leave it. Okay. We'll be done with that one. All right. So we're going to flatten it. Nope. Not like that though. Come on. It gets slower and slower each time. I don't understand why it didn't flatten because that's at the back. Now that's at the front. Can we? We can't flatten it correctly. Guess not. Come on. Why are you being slow right now? I don't understand why it's not working. Okay. We might just be making two. What the, what the heck is happening? Okay, we're not making that one because I about said a not nice word and that's not, we're not pushing me to that limit today. So we only have two of those, which stinks because I do really like to have three, just like I have three colors, but for whatever reason, that's not happening. All right, so I'm gonna check that one off my list because we've made those. So next on the list is to make 
the script stickers. So this one is a highly requested one for you guys as well. I'm going to go back over here to Pixlr. I'm going to exit out of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of these shapes that I don't need. Okay. And we're going to add another text layer. And the first one that I want to make is for work. So I'm just going to have it say work. I do these as black. I just kind of do you know, a general thing for these. Um, I always do the white outline still. And I'm just going to turn that all the way up. And then we're going to have to come over here and we're going to have to add a shape to cover up the hole in the middle. Okay, cool. So now we can hit save. We'll title it work. We'll hit download. Go back to design space. Upload, upload image, browse. And we'll find the one that says work. Save it as a complex image. Just hit continue through these and save. And then we can insert. So for my scripts, I always do those. I can't really say always, but you know, most of the time. Most of the time I do those at a 0 0.2, oh wait, no, just kidding. I do these at a 0 0.201, and I leave the dimensions locked because it looks wonky if you don't. I probably could make them a little bit bigger this time because I did size up my, but not that big. Um, what am I doing? There we go. I think I'm going to do 0 0.25. So I think that'll look okay. Usually I do 0 0.201 and that worked, but my strips that I was using were just teeny tiny, my like appointment label. So I made them bigger this time. So I'm going to have to make my scripts bigger, which is fine. So I'm going to, we got room up here. I'm going to put these up here. So I need two of those that say work. So I'm just going to you know, duplicate that one. Just put those there. I'm a big stickler for things being lined up. They still don't look lined up, but whatever. We're going to move on. All right, I'm going to come back over here, and then we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to delete the shape and zoom out. Why is it not? There we go. Okay. I'm going to add a text layer. This one is going to say church. So we do the same thing and leave it. Just kidding. We're going to make it black. What is it doing? And then we're going to make the outline white. We'll drag it all the way to the end. This one's going to have a lot of shapes. You can't leave those open spaces because if you do, then the Cricut or whatever you're cutting with is going to try and cut them out. And you don't want that to happen because then it will mess up like the way it looks, if that makes sense at all. So, got to make sure you fill in any gaps that are like inside of something. Just can't have those. You can't be having that. All right, last one, hopefully. Still didn't get all of it. There we go. I'm also put one there. Just cover that in some. Okay. And then we will save this one as church download. And we go through the same steps again. So you go back over here to upload, upload image, browse, pick the one that you're looking for, go to complex. Then you just hit it all the way through. And these we will do as a height of 0 0.25, just like our works. And for church, I need four of those. So we've got one, two, three, four. And I just like to spread them out some. Okay. So we've got those now. I need two more. So I need some that say meeting. We'll do those next. So we'll make a 
meeting one. Come over here and add an outline. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna add a shape just to cover in this thing. And that little one down there. I don't want to try to cut any of that out. And we'll save it as a meeting. Come on. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just give this a second. It tells you when it's ready down here and you can hit close. And then I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to go ahead and make my last one too. So I want one that says um, something for my birthday. I don't know if I should put my birthday. Hmm, what should I put? I'm just going to put birthday. I might decide to not use it and make something different, make something a little more festive, but my birthday is in February, so for now, we'll leave it at that. Oh, wow, this one's got a lot of shapes. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we got one there. Got one there. It used to not be this difficult to make these before they decided, I guess, they were going to update some things. So when I was on Monday, they hadn't updated anything yet. This just came about since then. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, do we got all of it covered? I think so. All right, so we'll save this one as birthday. And we'll hit download. So now we can get back out of this. I'm going to go back into here and hit upload. And we're going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to do my birthday one first. Unable to upload image. Why? No, I must have just been trying to click too fast. Okay. Here she is. Make it small. I'm just going to put that one right there, and then we're going to upload the one for meeting. And I need several of those. I'm going to make five. I might end up needing more. might not need all of them, but I'm going to make five for now. Just so that I have them if I do need them. Okay, last one. So I'm just going to put this one here. So that's one, two... Three, four, five. We'll put that one there. I try to make sure that I don't get anything too close to itself so that way nothing tries to overcut, like cut on top of something. I'm going to put these over here just to kind of fill in this space. So now I'm going to check those off my list. We've got our scripts done. The only thing I have not made at this point is some boxes for those covering up those dates. I do really quickly want to make, um, I wonder, I think I'm just going to make some little like appointment label shaped. I don't know. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I want to be able to put some due dates. I have one class this semester to grad that I have left to graduate while I'm doing my internship. And I really want to be able to put some due dates in, but I don't need appointment labels for it, if that makes sense. I don't, I need something that's just like a solid, like, I don't know. We could do, let's, let's try this. What if we did something like this and then put a smaller one, kind of like what we do with those other pieces? What if we did something like that, maybe? And let's see, let's center it. And then I'm gonna change the width to be a lot longer. That works. Oh yeah, those will work. That'll work. Come on, why is it not grabbing the pink box behind it? There we go. I'm going to drag it down here just because I'm sure I'm going to have issues trying to get it 
to go together. Move that to the back. Why is it not? There we go. Flatten. Perfect. All right, and I'm going to put those here. I'm going to make several of these. Probably more than I actually need. I'm just going to fill in this whole space right here with some. Make sure we're still inside the white box. Cool, cool. All right, so that gives me eight. Mm, I'm going to make some more because I feel like that's not going to be enough. And I don't have any more space anyways to put anything else over here. So I'm going to make some more of these. I'm going to move this up and we'll put one down there. Just so I have plenty, I want to make sure that I can put everything. Oh, those overlap. They can't be overlapping. Okay, nothing else overlaps, does it? I don't think so. Okay, so now we've gotten everything on here that we want on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the white background away for a minute. I'm going to grab all of this stuff. It just makes it easier than trying to click each individual one. And I'm going to attach it. I'm not going to try to align anything because there's no point to do that. So I'm just going to attach everything. And then I'm going to drag this back up here. And I'm going to center everything onto those white boxes. All right, so now I'm going to grab those white boxes just like we did a minute ago. If it'll let me grab them. There we go. I'm going to detach them. And then I'm just going to grab everything that's here and attach all of it. So now it moves as one cohesive piece. Okay, so... So far, we've gotten those two done. Now, the only thing I have left is those boxes. I do quickly want to try and make those um, just to see what it's going to look like. It will end up meaning that I have to use an extra sheet of sticker paper. Usually, I use one sheet of sticker paper per kit. Um, but if I decide to start doing this, then, you know, that won't be the case. All right, so our dimension for one box is 1.406 by 1.625, yes. So that would be one, no, that's backwards. I have, I've typed those in backwards. 625, that looks better. I was like, that's eh, not gonna fit on there, but that looks better. All right, so 1.625 by 4, 1.406. So that is what we've got there. That's going to be one individual box. So I'm going to drag that one over here, and then I'm going to make another one of these because that, like this box, will cover up the 31st. But then there's also some days in March at the very end of February. The last day of February is the 28th, and it's on a Sunday. So we have Monday through Saturday, which is all part of March, and I'm going to cover all of those up. So this time... Instead of doing it as individual boxes, I'm going to make like a big strip to cover those up. So we're still going to keep our 0 0.4 or 1.406, but we're going to change this to 4.812. Actually, it's 813. And we need two of those. So I'm just kind of seeing what they're going to look like before I put them on anything. All right, then we just need to figure out what pattern we're going to use for all of them. So let's see, a pattern. I'm trying to think of what we've used so far. Let's not try that one. Try this one. I feel like I've used that a lot, so I don't know if I should use that one again, but I feel like that purple would look really pretty with everything. What does this one look like? But this one's just like white and purple polka dots, so that could work. I don't know what this one is. This one has apparently nothing. That was another issue I had last week, was that it was not actually posting as anything. It was just looking crazy. I don't know. 
having so many issues with this thing. All right, I like the way that one looks as long as we can get these to look just the same. I think, oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm doing a pattern. I think that will look pretty. Um, it's a lot of pink, a lot of purple, but I think that's gonna look cute. All right, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and make some more of those big white boxes that we love. Just kidding, I hate them. Um, and I'm still gonna do six and a half. We'll say, just kidding, I can't do that. I'm gonna say six and a half. We'll start at four. I don't think I need all that space though because it's not gonna take a, take up that much space, I don't think. Hmm, it might actually. I'm not gonna be able to fit that one on there unless I make it longer. Now I can. It's gonna be a lot of wasted space, but that's the only way I can get this to fit is to have a little wasted space. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is attach those together. Um, this white box, I need to duplicate it a bunch of times. Two, three, four, five. And then let's see, I'm gonna grab all the white boxes and center those. And then we're gonna send this to the front. I'm gonna grab everything and center it and attach. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out so we can kind of see everything together. There we have it. This looks a little fuzzy, but there we go. It came into it takes it a second sometimes. That happens, that's normal. That's not just like a random glitch in the system. Okay, so we have this now. My next dilemma, that's that's it. That's as well, far as I go with designing the monthly kit. This is definitely a little more intensive than what I usually do. Typically, I don't make, you know, those big boxes that we just did. I don't usually have those. And I also don't usually have, um, anything to put school on. This was the first time I made like a specialty sticker, like that Valentine's Day sticker. Um, I don't usually have that. Usually my February is attached where it should be. I don't always do half boxes. So usually I'm pretty basic with what I've got. I'm trying to get a little more creative, make a little bit more stuff. Um, in the event that I want to do an Etsy shop one day, you know, I feel like I need to offer more than just the teeny tiny bit of basic stuff that I usually make. But that is it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and print them. I wasn't going to because I ordered a new inkjet printer and it's supposed to be here next week. I currently don't have an inkjet printer. Um, no joke, I just paused because it sounds like it sounds like a delivery truck just pulled up. And if so, that's got to be my inkjet printer. Or there's somebody else here. I don't know. Anyways. I think I'm going to wait and print these, make these the first ones I print on my inkjet printer. It's supposed, it said Monday, and then I think now it says Saturday, so we shall see. It's Thursday currently, so if it comes Saturday, then I'll get these printed, and you guys will see them next week for the plan with me for the month, um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, tips, tricks, anything like that, always feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, definitely check out the description box for where I found this um, like kit for the backgrounds and stuff on Etsy. And I will also put all of my, um, dimensions in the description box as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can stick around for all my future videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.